And hello, hello. Welcome back to the March 26th edition to Wine is the New Tea here on Unwind with Tasha K's platform. How y'all doing today? What's up, everybody? What's going on? I am joined here today by my favorite co-host, Nyla, aka Grown Woman Vibes. And then we got King Jive in the house. You guys say hey to everyone. What's going on, everybody? What's good? So we're here on a Tuesday after what was an extremely messy Monday. My goodness. <laughs> you know, we are not sure of things to talk about. My goodness. We know <laughs> what you guys are all here for. Everybody wants to get the tea on Diddy. We're going to get into that a lot later. Not, not, not too far down the line, but we got a few things we need to discuss before that. Also, I have an exclusive. Mm -hmm. A Los Angeles exclusive on Marlon Wayans and the child support saga that everybody is talking about from an uninformed angle. So we're going to fill you in a little more on that. Um, You guys, how was your weekend? Tell me about how you're feeling after quite a Monday. Baby, I'm feeling good. I just got back from Mexico, honey. All right. Okay. So I was over there with the tacos and the macoritas and had me a good old time. Now I'm back for the mess. Yes, honey. Yeah, I'm tired. Out? I didn't. I didn't went to the strip club. I didn't got through fixing up my saltwater tank, 200 gallons. I'm tired, and then to get hit Monday with that, I'm. I'm like, I, I'm ready to go back to bed. I'm ready to go back to bed. Yeah. And to just look at my phone and just start scrolling like, oh, we, oh, it's a mofo's coming. It's a mofo. Oh, it's a ooh, ooh. Baby, I was on the plane mad when I lost my service. I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> right in the thick of it, baby. So, we're going to get into a few lighter topics before we get into the heavy stuff. You know, we know what everybody's coming for. Everybody wants that Diddy tea. Everybody wants that Marlon tea. Everybody wants to talk about Real Housewives of Potomac. We got all that coming up. But first, let's talk about this. Florida, at the top of 2025, that's January 2025, Florida will be banning all social media accounts for anyone under the age of 14. That also includes pre-existing accounts. Um, you guys, how do you think that they'll be able to regulate such a ban? And in a world full of trolling and bullying, you know, what do you think are going to be the repercussions of this? What are the pros and what are the cons of this ban? Uh, Nyla, take it away. So for me, they, I, I'm torn on it, right? Because I do think social media has turned into a bad place for younger people. It, the trolling and the bullying is off the chain. But more importantly, my concern is the influences and how much access kids have to stuff that they might be too young to get into. Mm -hmm. But it's like with the way that this country is going, if children can make decisions like what their gender can be and all this kind of stuff, I don't know how they're going to regulate banning people from social media, but then saying, okay, but you can get married if your parents consent or you can do, you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's, it's a weird place, but I am not in support of kids having too much social media. So, yeah. I agree. I mean, me, I mean, me personally, I feel like children at the age of 14, I mean, at 14, I didn't even know what social media was, although social media was not even out at that time. Exactly. <laughs> don't, don't tell our age now. Don't tell them you, know, you know what I'm saying? We couldn't use cell phones without permission. We couldn't. Do, I mean, like kids nowadays, it's very different. So, I mean, for me, I feel like there still needs to be consent to do anything. But it's like parents nowadays, they don't have time. So we just like to say, here, go, go sit down somewhere. Here, go get this phone. Go do this. And so kids. You know, they have social media accounts. So right. it's like, you know, we we willingly we give our children access to TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, because we don't, I shouldn't say we, but I'm gonna say we, we don't have time because we're too busy working trying to pay bills and stuff. Right. And I mean, we want to say, Well, I, I I take out time with my kids. Well, a lot of times you don't have time because you're trying to pay bills and work. So it's like, here, take this iPad, here, take this cell phone. Go sit over there and watch this video. So instead of them watching videos, they're on social media apps. We're making their own videos. Because it's, it's weird for me because like, okay, my I have a 33-year-old and a 32-year-old, right? So when they got their phones, they were a junior and senior in high school. <laughs> Maybe because, look, look, black don't crack. We already okay, know. Okay, 
and if, if you ain't out here you old, you this is how we age but look they didn't get their first phones until they were a junior and senior in high school i had the passwords myspace i had their passwords i did not give them their passwords to their myspace until they were seniors in high school and then remember there was tagged which was that website that was only for the kids or whatever and but i knew even back then this is going to morph into something else because i made my first layoff attack actually see <laughs> i was all in my kids dm i was in church in i don't know nothing about that i was in church <laughs> you were saved <laughs> i was super saved i was in the church oh baby you were singing stomp and all yeah, that stuff. i was in mm -hmm. drill team sunshine band all that i don't know nothing about that you know <laughs> as, as a, it's so funny because it's like just to know me is to know that like I have like a lot of different components to myself so I'm such a free spirit um I definitely believe in you know um people make their own decisions and, and you know kids should be able to say see things and be exposed to things and then the parents are it's the parents job to sit your child down mm -hmm. and you know regulate hey this is what's not okay this is what they doing outside in this world but this is not how you're going to conduct yourself but then also you know, as a mom, I have a five-year-old son. So sometimes I put him on YouTube, children's stuff. It's all cartoons. And then, like, I'll just be doing dishes, listening to it. And then I'll start hearing cursing or whatever. And I know I just put it on all cartoons. Mm -hmm. And even like they did with the, um, with the vapes or whatever, they use children's type it. things to market and, and, and push these, you know, uh, push these agendas on the kids. So you're thinking you're putting on cartoons and then next thing you see something like this soft porn. And so I really do think that the ban overall is just a positive thing because there's, I try to have the most control I can over my son and, and filter out what he sees. And I see that the stuff still slips through the cracks. So just like with sex and STDs, honey, with these children and and, and, and and not being exposed to, you know, this stuff on social media, the best thing is abstinence. Yeah. If they not on it at all, they can't get exposed to this content, you know. And I mean, literally, Instagram is out of control. I mean, not even Absolutely. just kids. Not even just kids. It's like, I got a man, honey, and I be seeing my girlfriends on. I'm like, girl, my man is on Instagram. Like, can you not talk? <laughs> You know, you don't want to be mad at your homegirl. It's like, my man on this thing out. Can you chill? Isn't it weird about how, like, because me, for I don't think you should be doing anything on social media that you can't do in public. You know what I'm saying? Because you people forget that you are in public. You're not in a private room. You're well, not in your bedroom. Like, so unless I'm going to work in the middle of my damn cul-de-sac, I'm not going to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, well, some, some, people people red, honey. some of these people will. Yeah, Thanks. I was about to say that they're going to do that in public. In private, right. that's why we don't share zip codes, amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you have you made all of the dumb? How do you know? Oh, bust that thing mm -hmm. anyway. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in light of news, um, we're gonna get into and, and and jive. I know that you uh, you uh, are informed more on the LGBTQ community more so than <laughs> um myself you know and so i would like for you to kind of speak on this a little more than me i have my opinions but my opinions are for the key i found this to be quite hilarious a woman a woman. at a plant fitness it's my girl this, this miss patricia silver right here i think she put me in the mind Whoa. of chris jenner but miss patty was up in planet fitness baby and she was in the women's locker room and to her surprise a man let her tell it what's in the locker room, mm -hmm. just shaving his face and moving on, you know, about his day. But then once she confronted the man, the man responded that he is a woman. Uh -huh. She was very confused. Um, Jeff, do we have the picture of, of this of said man? Now, this oh. is this is a transgender woman who is in the process of of transitioning now I, while, I, trust no push. while i respect that um I'm, uh, and this is a man like what like i do yeah. not blame miss patty being like uh excuse me sir what you doing in the bathroom and they gonna tell miss patty if you don't like it you can go get in the stall and then planet fitness actually canceled her membership mm -hmm. now uh, 
Job, I'm gonna let you take it away. I want to know what are your thoughts on this. I can't lie. When I actually, I, when I first heard about, it, I'm like, now Miss Patty, now you out here judging people. Then I seen the man, and I was like, that's Jim Carrey. That ain't no trans. That's Jim Carrey. Not so, Jim Carrey, Jesus. So King Job, what are your thoughts on uh, Miss Patricia? Her membership getting canceled. Um, them telling her that she don't like looking at said man in the locker room she can go in the stall what do you feel about all of this oh no i'm gonna say this uh -uh. And, and i'm gonna say this and I, i'm i'm trying to be real nice but i feel like this what i saw because me personally i i was thinking <laughs> this is me i was thinking what i was going to be seeing what? was a transgender woman that's what I thought I was going to be looking at. And I can't listen. I can't tell nobody how to look, how to transition or anything like that. So I'm going to leave my thoughts and opinions out of that. But if I walk into a, well, I'm never going to walk into a women's bathroom. Can we but, pull this picture up again, please? <laughs> if a female walk into the women's bathroom and see, you see that person right there. Mm -mm. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on. I'm going to think that's Harry. That's Harry Weinstein. I'm that's, uh, yeah. that's what I'm going to be thinking. I mean, like, Bob, why are you in here? Like, like and then you say, well, I'm a woman. I'm going to be like, okay, now you're taking this too damn far now. Like, you, I mean, so it's I mean, much. Like I said, much. I'm not here to tell nobody how they should or should not. But if I saw that person, again, I'm not misgendering nobody. Exactly. I am not. Uh oh, did he lose audio? And for me, this is not just about, you know, you want to judge anybody. It has nothing to do with, you know, um, misgendering LGBTQ. To me, this is about poor execution. Well, you not only that. To trying to become a woman. And sir, I'm gonna tell you, you're not doing that good of a job. I don't see no woman nowhere in that frame. Okay. Now, if you want to identify how you want to identify, cool. But if you're gonna come step with the big dogs now, you're gonna have to deliver a little correctly. Cause when I have my hair off and when I don't got no makeup on, I'm still coming a little a little more feminine than that, sir. So see, you know, this is the problem. This like and, and I've I've been talking about this for years. I'm sick of it. I coined a phrase called biofemphobia, right? Okay. And what biofemphobia, because we know what transphobia is, we know what homophobia is, we know all that. Biofemphobia is the advancement of other groups to the detriment or the degradation of biologically fe biological females, basically, right? And my issue with trans identified males, males who identify as trans that you know say that they're transitioning to womanhood is womanhood is a frequency, right? Mm. And I do believe that they are a type of man that presents as a woman or whatever, but I do not believe in circumventing womanhood or girlhood for your advancement, right? Women's games are very fragile. And we noticed this with Roe Ro versus Wade. They can snatch stuff from us whenever they get ready. So when you walk into a woman's bathroom with your dick, excuse me, um, <laughs> When you walk into the woman's bathroom, you got little girls there. It I may not want to have. It was a 12-year-old girl in her towel. And to her, all she knows is she seen somebody look like her uncle up in there while she in her towel. So I, For real. Because, like, I don't, you know, maybe I don't want to talk to my granddaughter about that yet. Maybe I want to bring, you know, maybe her mother doesn't want to talk to her about that. Maybe she, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it, it's sad and it's ridiculous that women are basically, in a lot of ways, um, this is patriarchy. In a start, because it's basically telling women, I'm going to come in here as, you know, an X, Y chromosome and I'm going to dominate, which is their nature. They dominate when it comes when they come into a space. That's the nature of men. So yeah. that's what they're doing with women. And I think I think it's bogus. I'm very passionate about it. I can't stand it. Nyla, um, if if you are in a scenario like this, do you think you should respect the person in the process? You were supposed of, trans to of, of, of transitioning or should you wait till them hormones kick in and they, they soften up a little bit for you to start acknowledging they're trans? 
I respect the fact that you are transitioning, that that is, you know, that's what you're doing, but it should not come at me having to identify as cis. It should not come at me at, at me having to identify as anything different. I should not have to look at dinglings in the bathroom. I shouldn't have to. You, you just shouldn't. And then what people are not even talking about are the statistics. OK, uh, okay my mic is working. Hello. Let me say something real quick. OK, so I, like I said before, I'm not here to to demean, judge or do anything towards nobody. Um, as far as the word cis goes, to my knowledge, the word cis is the biological word for a woman. I know it's don't nobody bad. like being called cis. Whatever. Um, what do they call men? They just call them men. Right. Because it is an attack on women. And this, the origins of the word was made by someone who was mentored by someone who wanted to make it OK and culture people to sleep with children. Cis is not even a term that is not old. If you get into the history of who created that word and why it was created, we do not need another identifier on women. Just like well, men. I don't call a woman no cis. I call her. If I'm going to call you cis, I'm going to call you cis because you're my sister. Exactly. Now, S -I -S. If you call you no cis, C-I-S, I'm not calling you cis. I'm going to call you sis. What are you talking about? This bathroom thing is woman. serious. What like if you go into the in, in that's a man. prison situation? <laughs> that's most a people, man. <laughs> thank you. But most people but are are ignoring the fact that when you look into when these people end up incarcerated, their rates of being incarcerated for crimes against women, se actually, are higher, three to four times higher than anybody else, and that's something that nobody wants to deal with. Nobody wants to deal with the 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 grapes that are happening inside of prisons because they're allowed to come in. I'm 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 really bothered by that. Not bothered by people doing what they want to do personally because everybody should be able to do that, but it should not circumvent women. It shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I, this that, this I, let me let me just defend my own self since mm -hmm. I'm the only Negro on here, the only man Negro on here. First <laughs> of all, I ain't calling no woman sis. Okay, I don't care what no. Other anybody in the LGBTQIA, listen, I can only talk for myself. I can only call, only talk for Demario. I appreciate what whoever's trying to do. But as far as when I see a female, I'm going to call her woman. When I see a man, I'm going to call her. When I, when I see a man, I'm going to call him man, whatever. But I mean, you know, because again, people now are real finicky about words. They so it is, it is what it is. So I don't call like me. I don't look at a female and say, hey, what, you know, what's up? You're a cis woman. You're, I don't ask women, are you a woman? That's that's what I know. That's what I was raised when I was in biology, when I was going in school, in college, because I graduated from college. We, we had the word woman. We didn't have cis. We didn't have those things. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to call you. That's what my mama called you. That's what my grandmama them called you. My, my granddaddy them called you. When they was out here, you know, I think they called it. He was out here you know, off with them women's and carrying off. So it is what it is. I'm going to call you a woman. OK, it's just going to be what it's going to be. So, you know, no disrespect towards nobody, but that's what I'm going to call you. OK, now, if you're transitioning, you're transitioning to a woman. Now, what again? Now, back to what I just saw. If I walked into if if I walk past a, a women's bathroom and I don't have no no membership and no Planet Fitness, mm. you know, I'm too elevated for that right there. I have L.A. Fitness. Man, praise God. Right. <laughs> Um, everybody ain't able chiefs, ain't at jobs. Ain't, ain't if I able. walk past the LA Fitness and I saw he throw up and in the women's bathroom, I'm like, Sir, what is you doing? It, sir, are you lost? That's all. It's, I'm not getting trans, I'm getting a lost man. I'm sorry. Like, where you I, going? I would think that that's a man, okay? So, because I, I'm what, what you're presenting to me, what you're presenting to me, what you're presenting to me is man. You're not presenting to me female. I'm not disrespecting nobody. But what I'm looking at right here is man. She says she a woman in her natural state, honey. She says she don't but, need no Right, because no this means, this makes, said. saying sis really does kind of like put you into uh -huh. something that you may not be in agreement because cisgender means that you have accepted your assigned birth, your assigned, your assigned gender. I don't believe that gender is assigned. So I'm not going to call anyone cis because that would suggest that I believe that gender is an assignment. I don't believe that. And cis 
literally means you are going with your assigned gender. I'm so glad this Canadian. That, yeah, yeah, so if you believe that gender can be assigned, then you can say cisgender. Just don't say it to me. Amen. Random story. So at one point, I had opened up my apartment in LA before I moved in with my man, or we picked out a house together. But I was living by myself. Make a plane. And- uh huh. Go ahead, make a plane. And mm-hmm. so, you know, <laughs> um, I met this transgender actress on set, and she had a she was you know down on her luck. You know, and I said, I opened up my doors to her, which I've done to several people, because I try to be somebody where if I need that in life, you know, I would want that. So I opened up my doors. And let me tell you something, even without the makeup, without, you know, her hair on, she definitely gave me female energy. I did honestly feel like I was kicking it with my homegirl, um, except for she was, I'm telling you, I didn't even know what she had, the true story. I didn't even know what she had going on downstairs. So one day she's prancing around my apartment in a gray thong and she bent over and coughed and her ball popped out. <laughs> and when I say Ooh. shit got just so real for me, like, <laughs> and then the ball just popped out the damn thong in the back. I was like, this is fucking crazy. And oh, um, yeah. I don't got no more to that story, but you know, I'm just saying, you know, you forget well, till you don't. First yeah, of all, balls I would say this. determine a lot, baby. Okay. I'ma say this. The now ball get out after she called me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'ma say this. People get offended by by these type of stories, but st- <laughs> <laughs> stuff like this really do happen. Like you gonna get mad because somebody walk around the house in a thong and your ball pop out. Oh, like, oh, no. oh Lord, wait a minute now. I'm gonna be confused. <laughs> I didn't know she. I always had questions like, do she still got it? That ball popped out. I was like, okay. Was they long or was they taut? No, they was nice and, and, and tight and uh, she had them well groomed. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, so she had she had she had waxed the balls. Yes, and, and nice okay. breath. I I can't lie, you know. I I sit on a lot of information. This 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 particular trans woman <laughs> might pop up. No, um, no, Ashley, you might... you missing some information now. Wait a minute. Oh 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 yes, honey. It's a lot of people we know that like that one, honey. And she'll tell it too. But you know, I I like I like. No, this. Ashley, hold on now. Like wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, Ashley. Okay. Was she walking around with none but a thong on, or did she have like a sundress on? No, no, no. She had on a little, just like a little sports bra and, uh, and her thong. You know, two girls chilling in the cat cave, and then the ball the popped out. <laughs> I would say no, did it, but I can't. So anyway, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> um, you know, I love uh, opening up the show with white people wilding. You know, to to let the the general public know it's not just us. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of my out of pocket white people, Mama June and Honey Boo Boo. My goodness, let me oh. tell y'all something. As y'all know, Honey Boo Boo has been on TV ever since she could talk. Basically, we're looking at over two day de- decades of being on TV. And guess what? We just found out when going through her accounts and trying to figure out her assets and talk to her accountant, she found out that out of the millions of dollars she's supposed to have, she's only been left with $33,000. And you want to know why? Because Mama June, her mother, has smoked up, snorted up, and drank up all of her money. Not the crack. Oh, not the crack pipe. Lord, not the crack pipe. Lindsay Lohan and Gary Coleman. Poor honey boo-boo. She's thinking about taking her mama to court, but it's like all the money is floating through her mama's, you know, bloodstream. Remnants probably can be found in random alleys. I don't know what she thinks she's about to get out of court. Uh, But King Jeff, what do you think about uh, this? You can't get it back. (laughs) <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about this white lady mama uh, smoking up all her money? First of all, you know, it, this is not a new thing. You know, I shouldn't say it like this, but it's not a new thing for, you know, uh, Caucasian people to do things like this. Lindsay Lohan went through it. You know what I'm saying? Britney Spears did some stuff like this. You know, I was just trying to give y'all like a little Rolodex of white people that did it. You know, I and you know, I beloved 
Whitney Houston did it too. You know, we love Nippy, but you know, she was over there hitting that pipe too, you know, but you know, it's like, listen, y'all, if, if you're not used to this type of money and y'all start indulging oh. in the money and then you got, you start hitting some rough times, hard times, and then you want to go, you know, take your pain away. Sometimes you start re no. retching back to them, you know, something that's going to give you a little comfort. Mm -hmm. and you know, Mama June and them from the trailer parks, you know what I'm saying? They, do, they put some stuff in them trailer parks, you know what I'm saying? You no. know, I've been around the trailer parks a time or two, you know what I'm saying? You know, the white, you know, some of the white people, they're a little different, you know what I'm saying? Black people, they're a little different too, because it ain't just white folks that's out there in trailer parks, but you know, you know, you know, okay, you know, praise God, amen. But you know, yeah, I just, I just, I feel like, baby, you're not gonna get no money back. I mean, you, you're not gonna be able to ex ex extract no cocaine out your mama's bag. You already got to the bottom. Of smoked, up the yeah, smoked, get, smoked up the TV. You not Smoked up the car. Wait, she just Nala, smoked. Nala, what are your thoughts about Mama June smoking a ball? Her baby money. I mean, that that is just like you said, that's not a new thing. When people be on that stuff, that's what they do. They smoke up all the assets. See what it is. It's kind of like you said, they didn't have no money. They got some money. You know what I'm saying? She overindulged in spam and noodles and a rug. A rug. You know, is she had surgery? I was about I to say, she should have got the damn plastic surgery. With the she money. had the surgery, but she's still eating her noodles. She's still eating her hog head cheese. Oh. And what, what, what did she have plastic surgery on? I oh, think yeah. she's supposed to have like have some sort of weight loss surgery or something. But see, people go overindulge when they're not used to nothing. Hey, this like I mean? Charles. I'm trying to figure out where they had a surgery at. Now I'm trying to figure that out. Boy, I'm, that I'm just Charles saying. <laughs> she's. I mean, she over. She she. You know, she just she 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 got too much too fast. She don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? She she eat her food and she smoke her crack. I but mean, she ain't losing no weight. But see, well, see, crackheads is different these days. So back in the day, crackheads didn't used to have a lot of, you know, they had to walk. Remember, crackheads used to walk real fast. Uh huh. And they used to Very ride bikes and stuff like that. Mama June don't have to ride no bike. She could ride everywhere because there was an excessive amount of money. See, our crackheads mm. was for ah, real. You understand? A crackhead that could she ain't got to walk black. nowhere. She, she ain't got to go drop no transmissions to get her crack. She ain't got to do, you know what I'm saying? She ain't got to do all the extra stuff that the crackheads used to have to do back in the day. There's no labor. You know, she just take the ATM card. And so crackheads don't get exercise no more. You understand? Lord. They don't think, get exercise. I think crackheads it was a really cardiovascular activity personally. back in the day. You know, they would, like, I can't lie. I know a few little IN's and jobs around my childhood at home that, like, I think I've seen a crackhead repairing the roof one. Like, my daddy a real one. Like, he'll go and employ them and put them to work. And they're very efficient. Crackheads right? can fix some cars, too. What you talking about? Yes, they drop transmissions real fast, baby. I'm I know. telling you, get your car fixed in 15 <laughs> minutes. Mm -hmm. Mama, you need to get out there and fix a transmission or something. Yeah, but you know, the, it, being a crackhead back in the day was a cardiovascular activity. I'm you know I'm what I'm crying. saying? And that now it's not. You just kind of you stay sedentary, crackheads. Mm. You understand? You know, I shouldn't say this, but um, I'll love it. Miss Natta, y'all, maybe y'all need to go smoke y'all little. <laughs> Please do not bring up peanut butter crunch. Please. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Um, no, I don't well, want to get drugged because I told Ned to go smoke them a little pipe. I'm just let me leave it alone. Leave it alone. They all <laughs> sit up there and let goals, Jim, goals, and just sit up there and do that mess to y'all. And y'all ain't lost no weight nowhere. What is that? <laughs> y'all got Charles out here with, with, with corn on the cob on his chest and, and stomach and stuff. Man, I thought because Charles had a six pack now. Huh? He got a six pack on top of a keg, baby. It looks he got an eight pack on top of ribs. Oh, because his lunch is ready. Literally, <laughs> his lunch is ready. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, th that, that looks a mess. Um, well, while I, I'm, we're going to, I got to go throw up in my mouth thinking about Netta and Charles. Yeah, <laughs> so we're going uh, to cut to uh, commercial, babe. When we come back. <laughs> you know, we just got the white reality story. We so uh -huh. we're gonna get we're gonna touch on the continuance <laughs> of the Porsche and Simon saga, boy. Just when you it's think it's over, the continuance of the Porsche and Simon saga, honey. No, just actually, it's some new stuff, though. Oh, yeah, honey, they, it's oh, new oh, stuff. They, they didn't they didn't add it to to the saga yesterday, and we're also going to get into some Real Housewife of Potomac, specifically Mia and Gordon Thornton T. After the break. 
Oh. Batista unveiled a load of videos. Who the fuck did I marry? 400 million views talking about y'all ex-husband. Marisa Tisa, ex-wife, who straight line to y'all. It's completely false. Now, Latoya, a lot of people have been reaching out and mm -hmm. they've been wanting to hear your side. When you're dealing with this sort of trickery, and that's what I call it, it's like you being bamboozled, right? When a person comes into your life and they're constantly bamboozling you, especially like when you've been through trauma and things of that nature, you want to believe so badly that this is the truth. Legion really led y'all down a rabbit hole. He used to talk to this dude on the phone like every day. And his name was Miguel, right? Two gentlemen that looked out for me, my mom and dad passed away and became brothers to me, which is Elgin and Miguel. These are the guys that I would talk to in the morning time. Miguel doesn't even exist. Uh oh no. Miguel's not even a real person. Oh no. He was wearing a fucking bulletproof vest, walking around the neighborhood as security of the apartment complex. Legion. This is in Emmett and Jonesboro, Georgia. Your it's mom funny. talked about him walking around the neighborhood at night. He was using his dad's badge, acting like the police. He's stopping the game beggars and he is patting them all the way down. He was only doing it just to fill just on to them. Just to fill on them, because he didn't work for these people. He had a whole different job. <laughs> Legion. All the cars that he promised me, they're actually on Facebook with my name on them, right? That he never bought. It's just said that she had, right, he, she but, was promised cars as well too. But he literally has, I have screenshots right, of the actual post that this lunatic actually put my name in it, tagged me, said, come outside, I have your I have your anniversary present. So where's the car? That never got bought. I was at the station and he acted like he got the a Christian phone call. The Christian radio station. Yes. Okay. And he was on the phone like, hey bro, what's up? And then the phone rang and it was my mama. She just really just kind of opened the door to something that I wasn't even prepared for. Here I am thinking that we're just dealing with a pathological liar, right. an alleged mm -hmm. child and I, like, molester. She, like she said, I don't want to start crying because I don't want my makeup to drip, but every fiber in my being, I'm not a violent person, but don't touch my kids. Horror of a person. That's a lot of my childhood gone, you know? Did it cause problems between you and your mom? If you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on stage in your city, well, I'm coming. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as the bio. Hurry up now while tickets last, okay? <laughs> we back. Yes, we are back. Interviews like what you just saw and tons of other more uncensored, great content can be found over on TashaKLive.com. Um, also, uh, beyond the interviews, know that she, there are movies, there are shows. She basically has her own streaming out like Netflix. Please don't sleep on it. Get on over there today. Also, be sure to check out our girl Tasha K live on stage. As you know, she is taking the comedy world by storm. Tasha is going to be in Baltimore, April 14th at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. So you can head on over to TashaKOnStage.com and get your tickets. Also, she's coming to a city near you. So if you're nowhere near Baltimore, don't worry. You can catch her on stage. Just get on over to TashaKOnStage.com. Check out her tour dates. And um, you never know, you might see one of us on stage. Yes. Okay, so let's get into some more topics. First of all, I think um, those commercials, as fast as they were, they lasted longer than most of Kim Kardashian's recent relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, our girl got slid by Odell Beckham. He said, no, nah, I'm good on that. Kim Kardashian, Odell Beckham has called it quits. Grand opening, grand closing, King Job. What are your thoughts? I didn't even know that's how fast that that relationship lasts. I didn't even know they were together. First of all, oh. you know what? I'm gonna give Kim this. Kim is good at at nabbing some fine black men. I'm so serious. I don't know what type of power she got down there between her her knees, but I'm telling you right oh. now, she be bagging some nice looking black men, and that's not that's not nice because you just mess over these men. And like you just now, Kanye out here all crazy and stuff. No, where, where Reggie Bush at? Where Reggie Bush? What the Kim Kardashian look like, actually? He, sure is. Oh Lord, he married he, with kids. With kids, see that? See what I'm saying, man? 
No, no, don't do Odell. Don't do Odell. I thought Odell was over there with uh was with Drake. I thought he was over there uh hermching and perching over there with Drake. I thought he was over there with Drake. What you said? <laughs> are, 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 is, is this an exclusive? What? Are you saying that Odell is one of the kids? See, I told y'all last time we was on here, I was asking. But see, y'all was like, I don't want to say nothing about it. I, I still not saying nothing. I'm asking the question. The I, video okay, came out. The, the video came out where Justin Bieber's head just happened to be planted between his legs and he came up for air. So I'm just saying, air. I know what that looked like. Okay. I know what that, I know what was happening when somebody, you know. Yeah. Y'all didn't see that video? Uh huh. I seen that video. See what I'm talking about? Odell, you said I you said Odell gonna be in my inbox. Listen, uh, Odell. Be fine now. I wouldn't be mad at you, Josh. I am a snack though. I'm gonna tell you that right <laughs> now. I'm a snack. <laughs> I'm a snack, a meal, uh, a cabal of sausage, man. What you want? Don't play with it now. Yeah, Don't like, play with it. Tim, girl, you need to slow down, honey, because we. I, I feel like my very first episode of Wine is the new tea. We talked about, um, you know, you just getting into the relationship. So, can you at least let us make it through one season of a, a show while you stay in a relationship? You know, maybe not. All right, well, moving right along. Maybe it was as we all thought it was. Maybe well, it, it's broke now. Maybe you know. Sometimes they say you'll know your luck run out. Remember, Missy sang the song saying, "Don't fail me now." Maybe it failed her then. But also, Ever it's like. You know, at the end of the day, co-parenting is like a real thing. Um, do you really want to be the follow-up act to Kanye West? Co-parenting with the nanny. I'm mad. Don't be mad that she rich now. I'm just, I'm I'm not I'm not mad that she rich. I'm just saying. Yeah, I just don't see it working with anybody with Kanye West being the baby daddy. Do she just I mean, do do she just want to be What's that lady name? Uh, what's the lady with the, with the perfume stuff? Viv Elizabeth no. Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. Do she, is I aspire to be Elizabeth Taylor, honey. I'm telling you, I'm not mad. <laughs> Cause I mean, she can't keep no man, and I mean, she and she don't discriminate. So that's what I like about it. she. Don't, she gonna get a white one. She gonna get a black one, a Spanish one, a green she one. Got a method. She a got blue. a method. I'm telling you, she got a method. See, Kim was. Okay, so she was gonna try to use the little dusty white boy that she had right after Kanye. Peter, get back. Peter. Uh, what was his name? Peter, right? She was gonna use him to get back into the graces of white men. You know what I'm saying? Because she got a lot of money. She's supposed to be on a certain echelon. She's supposed to be rubbing elbows with a certain type, right? But she got them little mixed children now. Mm -hmm. She, you know, she, she a Bob bunch of man. a whole bunch of bit. You know, so she kind of like a baby. She a baby mama. You understand what I'm saying? So ain't too many white men. Gonna what? raise what? children with three C hair. You understand she what I'm saying? They knows. will, they will, but you know, I, I know it was a few in line when I broke up my baby daddy, but you know, one <laughs> one one and four is is completely different when it comes to right. Quality. But she wants a particular one. Just really think about the ones with the kind of bread that she has, right? So she is working her way up the ladder. You understand? Odell almost a white boy some days. So you know what I'm saying? So he she work she working her That's way a back. a white woman a lot of days. It's something right. Sometimes he is a white woman. So she's on her way back into the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. We do see her transition. Kim, her. since you're working your way down the ladder, I'm not down the ladder. You can date me. Listen here. I don't mind. Listen, you pay me right. I will play in the cooch. Okay. Come on over here. Oh my goodness. Come on over. Are Listen, you identified as bisexual, Jeremy? I will or, identify or, as bisexual. Or bisexual, I'm going to hit your sexual we... all up and through there. Come on over here, Kim. Come on over here, Kim. Come I on. Financial Kim. sexual. That's what you is. I, I, love, I love that. You a financial sexual. I'm going to be a financial, <laughs> seer, financial seer sexual. Uh -huh, yo. Uh -huh. I'm going to be an opportunist sexual. That's what I'm going to be right there. <laughs> well, speaking of alleged opportunists, the Jalen Green and Drea saga continues, mm. but the roles have reversed. Everybody was like, oh, poor innocent Jalen. Mm. The plot has thickened, baby. They are saying that our boy Jalen has what we call ghetto triplets. And that's when you have three kids of around the same age by three different women, honey. And we mm. found out that Drea is not the one, but she 
Jesus the two. Mm -hmm. The two. It ain't no way in hell I could be a self-made millionaire and be yeah. uh, sharing baby daddies at the same damn time with somebody. Well. What are your thoughts on the fact that uh Jalen has a newborn and then another one pregnant behind Drea? Nyla, take it away. Basketball playing Negroes. Mm. They get plenty of babies. <laughs> I'm trying. I mean, what what is to see here? Got a lot of money. Basketball contract. Okay. What um, is this access, contract? What's that? I think he's worth like. I don't don't start me the line, but I think I saw like forty or fifty million or something 40, like that. I've seen forty. So it's a lot of money on the line, and you know what they do. You know what I'm saying? This is a basketball player. Okay. They get a bunch of women pregnant. What what basketball At player got a bunch of kids? What baby look? Well, see that child support. You know the baby mamas them. They gonna want fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a month. Trying to be Tristan. Listen, and and you got you. We got three baby mamas, so that's fit five, ten, fifteen. That's one hundred fifty a month. So you got forty thousand dollars. And how long is the contract for? Five years. Yeah. So you got a multiplication. I need to pull them. I need to pull a Tyler Perry Medea out. Yep, he gonna be coaching basketball. At some high school, you gonna be paying for a long time. <laughs> I can't, I can't lie. I really, for a second, you know, quiet as it's kept. I thought Drea did that. I was proud of her. And it's like you splitting the money up with other women at the same time. I, I really, I, I can't lie. Like y'all might shut me down. I feel like Drea's literally too good for this at this point. I am, I'm shocked and flabbergasted. You know what? That's a good point. That is a good point. And here's the thing, because I saw a lot of hate. For Drea, I really did, and I didn't understand it. And it was coming from women of ill repute. That's what I didn't understand. What you mean? I mean, it was an old, like uh, it yeah. was a retired yeah. scripper that was upset about it. Because I really think that um, because Drea, I mean, she still, she still looks good. She's still giving, you know, youthful and all this kind of stuff. Obviously, the yoni is working. And all this kind of stuff. And I think a lot of people are don't, you know, they don't like that she has had longevity in her wholeness. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He, I mean, he's young, he's athletic, he has money, they love the hoes. Why not love that hoe? Mm. I'm just saying. Well, you know what? That's a great segue into a wholeness that then ran the fuck out. I'm mm. I can't lie. I'm really disappointed and low-key heartbroken to report on this next story. Uh oh, what happened? Because ain't nothing more devastating than the day you find out that that pee not popping like it used to. Baby Portia then got locked out the Georgia <laughs> Mansion. My goodness, Portia <laughs> and Simon, the saga freaking continues. Just when you thought it was done, they said, baby, we just getting started. On oh, wow. March 21st, it was reported that Simon Gofraudia had to call the police to keep the peace. On Portia Peach Juice Williams Stewart Go Body Up. I mm -hmm. am just shocked because listen, this baby girl is beautiful. She has had successes in her career. And let me tell you something, baby. This is not black excellence. It is not. <laughs> I am very, fabulous. This is not black excellence. <laughs> I am very embarrassed for Portia. And now she is just letting this little fraud drag her and embarrass her i got more thoughts but i'm gonna hold it uh king job what are your thoughts about oh and she got a restraining order simon to put the restraining <laughs> order on portion but I'm he got a lot of you. nerves with his criminal ass he oh, got a lot I'm of nerves you, let me tell you how i feel about i'm gonna I'm give it to you job let me tell you how i feel about a restraining order which is how i know portion p not popping some of the, one of the <laughs> let me tell you something, baby. The best sex you can have in your life is restraining order sex, honey. That man and put that restraining order on you because you're not one to play with, even though you ain't one, you don't need to be restrained because you're not even checking for him. But he want to put the restraining order on him, on you, and then you like, you know what? Let me manipulate my way back into this situation just to see if this pee is popping. And every time you find out that pee is popping, he'll let you back in within two days of the restraining order, baby. And uh, you, you know, like no, you sound like you know. Oh yeah, honey, I'm coming live to your own bond right now. What you thought? <laughs> he don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs>
So if you, this is what I want to say. First of all, I, you know, so I really don't, I'm trying to follow a portion of them story, but it's just given like, you know, I want to, you know, get a little storyline so I can give me a little piece of show, you know, because first of all, marry this man. And you ain't dumb, Portia. You know, you you're not dumb. You know, you may act dumb, but you're not dumb. You know what I'm saying? She not you know, dumb. No, 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 no. Are you, it's, willing, it's, it's, are you willing to state that over? Oh, Portia not dumb. Listen, what, what a Portia not dumb. I don't know. I'm gonna put my hand on the gap. Baby, no. look. Listen. No, I'm gonna tell you something. Listen, you can always tell a hoe with some skills. So she not dumb. So Portia. First of all, she got on this show, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh huh. Then next thing you know, she started rolling. She didn't got with this this basketball, this uh, was it football player? So she knew how to swindle up on a football player. After she didn't got divorced it from him, next thing you know, you saw Portia roll around here with Rolls Royces and carrying on. So mm-hmm. Portia ain't dumb enough to know how to just like, oh, I'm so innocent. No, Portia know how to swing her monkey around here. Or, or let me smart enough to I, find I somebody dumber than her. She got locked out the mansion. It's not proper like it's supposed to. I thought, she's she, smart was, I enough. thought she was the one. No, she's smart enough to mess with men that are dumber than her. Okay? That's what she's smart enough to do. Sam's problem is a uh, rug. He used to paying dowries for women that be quiet oh, and, and, and shit like that. And he didn't pay no dowry. You know, she ain't got no, you know what I'm saying? He don't necessarily own her. She ain't that, trying to that, get out of the dowry is a, a down payment you gotta pay to your uh, uh African woman the bride price to ask for her. You know what I'm saying? Head. He ain't he ain't coughed up now goat, now sheep, none of mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. He 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 ain't got no control, so he know how to act. This is him having this is him having a tissy fit. This well, is what he doing. Well, now the question mm-hmm. is is Portia trying to pull a Janet Jackson? What you mean? What you mean? You know, Janet Jackson had to stay married to that 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 Arab sheik for oh, five yeah. years to get five hundred million dollars. Oh yeah, but she st- uh, but she filed for divorce. Didn't, didn't Portia file for divorce? Portia filed for divorce in what was it, fifteen months? And that and, and long prenup, enough to get the nothing. The prenup said there was a fifteen month clause in the prenup, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop you right there, King. Wait, no, 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 Hit her with the restraining order, but he said his reasoning is because Portia has showed up to their marital home with an armed gunman multiple times. She Portia bought the goons. The goons oh, Portia, you ain't getting the money. Portia, you might as well just go on here and go find <laughs> another rich man. Portia well, and Pookie and them. Yeah, you're going over back over there to somewhere else. You, you know, know what I'm saying? telling me though? She ain't. She don't have no. Fi- he he must be a punk. Who he Simon? Must- he got to be. He Why got you to that? be. Because, okay, even though she showed up with the goons or whatever, but like, if you feel Ooh. like, if you know your man is about it, about it, you don't care right. who coming. You like you. You could bring the Lord's army and know that they all finna get smoked. You understand what I'm saying? The fact that she even showed, you not gonna try no man that you know what I'm saying that you feel like, baby. Look, I wouldn't try it because he go fight all them goons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, I, I, I you know, now I agree she with you. Like she, she's really trying him. That, like, that's like, wow. That's Simon like, must wow. have got no real friends, and he, like, you know, because them Africans he have real anything, babe. That's that's the name of this game. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's not even his real name. He's an alias. Right. Right. But I Simon. think I think she has more to lose in this marriage as far as finding it. She got more liquid funds. His stuff is caught up Reputation in other people's names and credit cards everything. and people, you know, stealing people's stuff. So his money is kind of funny. Her money is hard earned and she's trying to keep it because when they do an asset check, when they when that forensic accountant come through looking for that money, they can find hers. They oh, can't yeah, find yeah. his because they don't know where to look at it. I don't like she should have been man, please. She better protect her check. That and this is why I don't feel like she thought she was smart, but she didn't look into it. Like I said the first time, she didn't do her due diligence. So I mean, I really was rooted for her. Like, you know, 
shit, like I, my man, twenty something years older than me. I, th- I thought that's what we was doing. <laughs> Wait, so how is he buying them Bentleys and Rolls Royces and stuff? Off of He's a, a CPN, honey. He's a scammer. He's a scammer. Look it up. You know the whole- it, it, no. it is a I mean, social security number, meaning you can have a lot of pro- you can mess up your credit and go get you a CPN and then or either he's taking other people's stuff because he did have identity theft and all this kind of stuff. That's the same stuff Shirley Strawberry husband was doing. That dude had a bunch of Bentleys and stuff like that, Bentley's giving the too. appearance of wealth. He's cheesy too. Simon is very. I pay more attention Barney. to him. He's extremely cheesy. I'm like, this is this is some lame stuff. Why Portia didn't tell him? Because Portia not lame. You know no, what I'm saying? She well, she, she knows how to move. But like I can't lie. This is really taking her off of your that girl status. Portia was really that girl to me. I was rooting for you. We was all rooting for you. How dare yeah. You? Oh Jesus. And she's so pretty. She's so pretty. And I think y'all favor. I think she's beautiful. I think you're beautiful. I just think Thank that you she's do just- look like Portia, sister. You do look like Portia now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me, me and Portia, we we met at Nene's wedding. Um, pe- people were confused. They're like, "Oh my God, you put your hair up!" And I'm like, "What you talking about?" <laughs> it was it was interesting. You know, yeah, I do I got a question I, though. I, I do got a question now. This this may sound shady, but why are they sitting out here trying to talk about you know near mind? That's gonna be too far, you know. No, I, no, no, no. do do it. Let me see. Cause well, I was gonna you know what I'm saying, because you know, people like to talk about Tasha Hus, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, him being a scammer and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Now, like is that what, what the people talk about? Okay. What are you scamming? Wine bottles. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out like what is Tasha Man scamming? I'm just I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? Because like all the Africans supposed to be scamming? Not all of them. But wait a minute, did y'all? They was mad when, when I said that about Simon and that like, baby. It's a if it's, it's a girl from Nigeria. She told me they're gonna hunt me down in the bush and get me. Because you said that. Mm-hmm. She did. She I know some Africans too. I'm like all the Africans don't do that, and I'm like. Well, no. Right on the street is Tasha husband is a prize so much to the point where Tasha actually paid a dowry for her man because she didn't want to let that one get Tasha, you paid a dowry for your man. Can I tell you something? About <laughs> you? Um, huh. so me and me and Tasha, you know, we not uh, it wasn't a double date, uh, it was more like a meeting. So my man was present and so was hers. So one of the first things that happened was me, my man, and Tasha, we sit down. And then I was like, you gonna call your husband and tell him, you know, where we at? She's like, he'll find us. Girl, it was three seconds. That man found her like he had a <laughs> locator on her. And then even when it comes to other business that we've, you know, been dealing with, let's say we try to get a deal done. The first thing Tasha's gonna say is run it by my husband. And at the time, like my man is now my fiance, but at the time when I first met them, he was just my boyfriend. And I saw what they got going on. I looked at the empire that they built and I and I saw that no matter how she presents herself online, she is a very submissive, cooperative wife. And I looked at them and it made me step my shit up and not take my man, who is also my partner, for granted. And, you know, people can say what they want, but little do you know, I it, watching Tasha and her man move helped me in my relationship. They are very, very, very solid couple and a team. Honey. That's what's up. A lot of people can look to them for answers. Because a lot of people run around with no husbands. They got a lot of stuff to say about them. Well, hey, I'll, hey. Say this. I'll say this, and I, you know, not even because I don't want to buy thinking I'm an ass kisser, but I, you know, when you actually know people in real life, and that's what I want people to understand about this social media stuff, all this BS to the side. When you actually know individuals in real life, mm-hmm. you get all to know life. them for real. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, after meeting Tasha and her husband, you know, you get to know people because, like, you know, it's don't don't get all caught up in the oh. You know, fan out like you got to talk to these people, get to know yeah. these people, because, again, don't come to these these places thinking y'all finna get something. It's still work. You know what I'm saying? Like these shows are still work. You got to work at the end of the day. So, you know, it's like you get to know that these people work just like everybody else. And so, I mean, they cool people. But the thing about it is the Internet is a scary place. Yeah, and it's sad that we don't like to see black couples working together, especially like a lot of women would take offense to Ashley saying that Tasha's cooperative or whatever. But the women that would take offense are the women that literally want, you know, the the situation, desire it, 
and 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 it's always going to escape them. There's nothing wrong with cooperating cooperating with a man that is adjusted, that is doing what he's supposed to do, and there's reciprocity. Now you don't cooperate with a fool. That's the problem, and the, the line needs to be drawn between cooperating in a righteous, healthy relationship versus right. being in a situation where you out here being somebody's sugar mama, somebody's doormat, and all this kind of stuff. If the situation is healthy, there is nothing wrong with cooperation. And that's that's what we should all desire for everyone, you know, whatever works for them, you know. Yes. So yes, so well said, Nyla. So um after the break, we're gonna go into a little break right now, but afterwards, we are going to talk about a marriage where the wife was nowhere near as cooperative mm. as Tasha K. We're gonna get into Mia Thornton and Gordon after the break. We're also gonna give you guys that Diddy and Marlon Wayans tea that you have been looking and sticking around for. So let's get into some breaks and we'll be right back. Batista unveiled a load of videos. Who the fuck did I marry? 400 million views talking about y'all ex-husband. Marisa, Tisa, ex-wife, ooh. Straight line to y'all, it's completely false. Now, Latoya, a lot of people have been reaching out and mm -hmm. They've been wanting to hear your side. When you're dealing with this sort of trickery, and that's what I call it, it's like you being bamboozled, right? When a person comes into your life and they're constantly bamboozling you, especially like when you've been through trauma and things of that nature, you want to believe so badly that this is the truth. Legion really led y'all down a rabbit hole. He used to talk to this dude on the phone like every day, and his name was Miguel, right? Two gentlemen that looked out for me when mom and dad passed away that became brothers to me, which is Elgin and Miguel. These are the guys that I would talk to in the morning time. Miguel doesn't even exist. Uh oh no. Miguel's not even a real person. Oh no. He was wearing a fucking bulletproof vest, walking around the neighborhood as security of the apartment complex. Legion. This is in an, an, an Jonesboro, Georgia. Your it's mom funny. talked about him walking around the neighborhood at night. He was using his dad's badge, acting like the police. He's stopping the game beggars and he is patting them all the way down. He was only doing it just to fill just on to them. Just to fill on them, because he didn't work for these people. He had a whole different job. <laughs> Legion. All the cars that he promised me, they're actually on Facebook with my name on them, right? That he never bought. It's just said that she had, right, he, she but, was promised cars as well too. But he literally has, I have screenshots right of the actual post that this lunatic hey bro what's up and then the phone rang and it was my mama she just really just kind of opened the door to something that i wasn't even prepared for here i am thinking that we're just dealing with a pathological liar and alleged and i Child like, molester. She, like she said i don't want to start crying because i don't want my makeup to trip but every fiber in my being i'm not a violent person but don't touch my kids. Horror of a person. That's a lot of my childhood gone. You know? Did it cause problems between you and your mom? All right, winos, if you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on stage in your city, well, I'm coming. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as the bio. Hurry up now while tickets last, okay? <laughs> Uh-oh, you're on mute, Ashley. Everybody on mute. We, we are back, everyone. Hello. Hi. Here's my voice. Okay, so make sure you guys go over to TashaKOnStage.com. Please check out her tour dates. You know, you can catch her live now. I'm glad that we have this luxury. She's no longer caught up in YouTube, honey. You know, um, she'll be in Baltimore. April 14th at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. She's been selling out every show. Tickets are going fast. So head on over to TashaKOnStage.com and catch her in a city near you. Okay, so we're going to jump back into some more topics. Now, I told you guys that coming back from the break, we were going to get into the Mia Thor and, and Gordon of it all. However, we got a wild card topic. Uh-oh. Breaking news, breaking news. Good old Larry Reed mm -hmm. over at Conscious TV. Maybe mm -hmm. we have a little debacle that we want to tackle, and apparently they have tagged in your boy King Jive. King Jive, you want to tell us uh, how your name got wrapped all up in this melee with <laughs> Larry Reed? Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're calling you to the stand, King Jive. 
Uh uh-uh, uh, baby, come on now. <laughs> what now. Say what? Tell us about your friend Larry Reed and what he had. We gonna talk about Mia Thornton. We're gonna get into that app because we we gotta give <laughs> Mia. We gotta give the franchise they teams. So let's go ahead and get Conscious TV out the way, and uh, we don't because we don't want to rush our our good our good girlfriend Mia. Thornton. I think I'm like everybody else. Like I've been so out the loop with a lot of this stuff. Like I have been MIA for a reason. Mm-hmm. It's been so much stupid stuff online with I don't even like to say his name because I think it's stupid. Like with La La Ree. Oh. And not, not to be confused with the drag queen because she's she's a wonderful performer. But mm-hmm. this La La Ree girl, mm-hmm. th- th- this one right here, he don't he ain't that big no more. Um mm-hmm. but it's been so much drama around this person. Like, you know, I don't even I don't even want to feature this dude because it's like mm-hmm. Every time it's some drama, it's somebody just saying his name, just saying his name. And I'm just like, man. So, I mean, you know, as far as conscious go, conscious and I, we have been, you know, friends for way before Larry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew, I knew conscious, you know, before Larry and conscious even met. So, you know, we've been social media friends for a very long time. And, you know, I had told conscious years ago. Uh, when he told me about meeting Larry, I said, I don't think you need to, you know, fool up with him because I don't I don't trust him and I don't think you need to trust him, period. Okay. And so, you know, I haven't seen all of Conscious video. I haven't seen anything that Beetlejuice William Horseface as McCray has done. I ain't seen that video yet. I just seen a little clip and I heard what they said. But let me tell you something. Now, I'm going to tell you just like this. Mm-hmm. Re- trying to read somebody because of a sexual disease, that's not a read. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. trying to drag somebody because of what, whether you have, whether you know that that raggy nigga gave it to him or not, mm-hmm. that's not a read. Because again, that that is just not. You know what I'm saying? And so me personally, I saw a clip. I saw a clip. And so in seeing the clip, because in humanity, I saw a person that I, you know, I, I consider a friend an associate and somebody, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, I have a heart for her. Yeah. And in humanity, I reached out to, and that's that, you know, I'm not going to details, but you know, that that's what it was. Now, I don't know who got what, cause you know what I'm saying? That's just that, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is when you see people hurt, you should feel something for them, especially when uh-huh. you know them, those people. So, you know, that's what that is. But my thing is this, as far as that go, cause I'm gonna leave that right there because I just feel like when you, when you are, when you have been friends with people and you see somebody hurt, crying about something, life in general, you need to check on them. Cause you don't know what people got going on. You don't know what the situation is. That's just what it is. Um, to give the viewers a little more context, um, Jive is being extremely respectful, which I do appreciate. Um, but what he's alluding to is the fact that it was exposed that you know, uh, one of them does have or could allegedly have HIV, um, in most yeah. of their parts. Because, because, horse beetle juice McCray out here to want to tell folks, you know, what I'm saying that, of course, everybody in the church world know. And been saying his ass got oh sorry Lord Jesus that his behind got got the package. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm I ain't gonna say how the folks know, but the mm-hmm. saints, saints and friends know itch. So at the end of the day, he out That's here funny. talking about what well, the folks said. I post been dead yesterday. Well, well, ho, if the folks didn't take you to go, go to go get your medicine, you would have been dead yesterday. Mm-hmm. How about that, itch? So, anyways, and then Larry gets on cackling like it's it's funny, but it's like you got people that actually have this sexually transmitted disease and y'all are online making light of it and a joke as if this is like something funny. It's not funny. Although, you know, you can you can treat it and you know and medicate it and things like that, but y'all out here making light of it. You out here paying for dick and Nigga, 
you paying for it, going to Dubai and all this stuff like that, and you making light and making a joke of this? You got Vincent all out here spilling the tea. You got Lester out here spilling all the tea, and we're just making jokes about you out here just having soirees. Come on, y'all. Like this, this is the dumbest thing that I have ever seen. And people think that because I even say anything about it, oh, I feel some type of way. I'm jealous. I have been quiet for months and I have not been on social media because I see this stuff and I am so sick and tired of people want to get online acting like somebody so jealous. It's been wearing me. on you emotionally. Uh, no, mentally, it has weared on me for five months years because. This dude, since since he can't buy somebody, and I wish his black netta Miss Netta looking as would get online and talk about uh you don't want me and you uh uh, uh you, you, all this up. Ben, I wish your tired, decrepit, sick ass look. I wish you would say some bullshit like that. Excuse me, Tasha. Y'all just got pissed off thinking about that right there. I wish you would say some sh like that. It, it just because for years, when you can't have what you want, you'll try to destroy a person. You you couldn't William because you knew he looked like a damn decrepit Beetlejuice, crying, kicking horse. So 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 you was all tied up with Eddie Long, and 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 all the gospel singers over there at Eddie Long Church. Mm. So Vincent already told that y'all took his website down. So I just find it ironic that y'all teamed up, took his website down. Now all of a sudden, you and Horseface then teamed up and y'all buddy buddy again. Um, I don't feel like I feel like on the internet when it comes to social media, what matters is the salaciousness of the story, and people just believe what they want to. Like there was some rumor that I had HIV. Mm. Now that started in nineteen, and that I was. Which how they've been like, saying. They've been saying I was gonna die in the next 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And look, and they, but, but this is what I did. Um, the blog of Conscious TV. God, we do the Build Your Immune System Health and Wellness Challenge. So we always get not. Well, blood. see, he do have it. See, he does have it. Who you, oh, you talking about? Your, your, I don't want to get into that. Your friend That's Conscious. Terrible. He's a, but but don't. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Oh, it's my Conscious. Yeah. Okay now. I, I can't be involved but in I, okay. hey, I'm a, I'm a hush. Yeah. I'm, I'm a okay. hush. I'm Forgive friend. me. Forgive okay. me because I know I know that's your friend. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Just, my friend is a great guy. So and I and he all that he me. drugged me, baby. He drugged me for filth. Well now what does that video tell you? Jesus. We do we do the build your immune challenge. What are you saying? What what are you saying? You're saying a lot without saying it. Yeah. Nyla, what are your thoughts? Baby, listen. Jesus be a fence around the red blood cell counts. Uh, uh, no, but I will respect to King Jives because it's not a game. That's not, not something that people should weaponize. You shouldn't play with it. Um, and it, it still is real. It's still serious. But, uh, uh yeah uh i just hope everybody's t cells and white blood cells is doing okay that's all i'm gonna say and I, i'll say this i'll say this before y'all try to pull a video on me when it came down to that 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 dead mule over there i drug him because he drug me and especially when i you know he tried to say that i was sick and so when i found out that he was sick baby i went in for the jugular Cause I was like, oh, I know I ain't sick, and I showed my, Bruh! like I was like, oh hell no, but see, I I was wrong for that, and I apologize, but see, I can't apologize for the truth, but see, it's it's not okay. I'm gonna just I'm gonna say that for the record, it's not okay to read somebody for their health status. No, okay. let me just say that it's not okay to read somebody for their health status because you don't know the situation that somebody could be in. You don't know the situation that somebody could be in for whatever reason, because a lot of people have contracted um, anything. It doesn't have to be HIV. A lot of people have contracted anything because they were raped, drugged, used needles, were strung out. It could have been anything. So, you know, there are situations because of all of this stuff or some people just 
reckless with sex. But and why, they somebody, why would you do that though? Why would you just put somebody's status? Like I thought there was supposed to be some sort of code. You know, you just don't like even people that I may suspect that I don't like or whatever, you still have to exercise a certain level of ethics. You know what I'm saying? You can't just, you know, unless they've uh, weaponized it themselves, because I do believe fair exchange ain't no robbery. So if said person was doing something similar and you get it back, then we'll have you. But just to say, oh, you got the pa that's wrong. And those are people that's that wrong. don't know how to read. Those are people you only see stuff like that when people don't got no real jokes. Right. So they have to hit below the belt. Right. They don't got no, they don't got no real tea. So they have to like. <sighs> Yeah, this was actually extremely disturbing to me. Um, you know, prayers to anybody that might be battling with that. And, you know, while we're here, I would encourage anybody watching this um, show right now to please just go check yourself. You know, health is wealth, you know. And there's a lot of peace in knowing your status, whatever that may be. Okay, so um, on the topic of reckless sex. Moving right along, we are going to get into Real Housewives of Potomac. <sighs> Mia Thornton and Gordon. It has been said that our good girlfriend, Mia Thornton, has been having an affair on her husband, Gordon, for the entirety of, an, a relation, of the marriage, especially the last 10 years and up to a week leading up to the marriage. She has been having an affair with radio personality ink and this has crushed gordon and on top of that he's been extremely to my understanding he's been extremely understanding towards her knowing that he was dealing with prostate cancer at the age of 70 which affected his sexual performance so he did give her a hall pass however he had two conditions don't throw it in my face and don't bring it around the kids and she has done both, okay? Mm -hmm. And not only is this what's going on in their marriage, these two people were brave enough to let it play out on the season finale of Real Housewives of Potomac, which aired this past Sunday. And let me tell you, <coughs> give these people their things. If y'all want to give them people over at Vanderpump Rules, Okay, the Emmy nomination for that BS when Rachel and old boy not even together no more. Give me a Thor and Gordon and the Real Housewives of Potomac their Emmy nom because Agreed. they brought it. This was so real. This was so raw. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, my job was on the floor. I said, I know you lying. <laughs> King job, did you see the finale? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the marriage? Give it to me. I, Listen, I, it, it's been so many marriages that have been open, closed, sneaking on the side, Portia. Um, it's just been so much stuff going on. And I'm just like, again, I just think that a lot of people are doing this because they're on TV. And it's like, OK, it's some more drama that we can have talk about that we can, you know, we can have something to leverage to extend a contract. Although it sounds dumb, but a lot of people are doing a lot of this stuff to get more money. And again, if they have already talked about, you know, having an open marriage, I mean, and the man said, just don't bring it around. Hey, they already know but, what they're but, getting. But she did. Yeah, that's disrespectful. You, 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 you disrespectful. Apparently she didn't have her two children over at ink who is her childhood sweetheart house and um on top of that it was exposed that there's a possibility that the son she has three kids one from a prior you know relationship and then her two with him her first son with him might not even be his and might be inks Ooh. and gordon dropped that bombshell on us mm. on the real housewives of Potomac. Mm. Now, let me tell you something. I don't right, wrong, and different. The well, maybe they're gonna be her, uh, brother husbands. The difference between her and Portia <laughs> right now, I'm getting all signs that Mia's P is popping. Mia's P is popping. Me, these men, the baby might not be mine, but baby, I'm gonna raise it anyway, honey. I'm not right. the stepdaddy, I'm the dad that stepped up. I know that's right, boys. She, she, she got, mm, I'm here for you me. know, it's, it's giving brother husbands, it's giving brother husbands, brother husbands. 
I cannot. Okay, I empathize with you know the cancer. Okay, that I, I empathize with him and all that kind of stuff. But he knew Mia was Mia when he got her. She was faithful. Uh, absolutely, you got you know. I I'm not even trying to degrade her, but it is what it is. You know, she she she's a hoe. You know what I'm saying? He knew it. Mm. Um, he no, he got with her because that's what she is. That's what he liked. So that's what comes along with that. I don't feel sorry for him. Uh, uh he knew that his uh his little pina wiener was on borrowed time. He mm. knew that she had a little hot pocket. Mm. He knew this, but I do think that she should have respected the boundaries because if he gave her the hall pass, she could have at least respected that for the children. You know mm. what I'm saying? And even, you know, for, you know, for her namesake or whatever, but I don't feel sorry for him um, being embarrassed or nothing like that because that, because that's he cheated on his first wife. He cheated on his first wife and you went and got this. You didn't go get her out the church house, baby. No. Not to say that ain't no hoes in church. Amen. But he didn't go get mm-hmm. her from the church house. He got her from the whole mm-hmm. house. You understand? So when you go get her from the whole house, she go hold and she go hop. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's just, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So, I mean, that's yeah. just life. Yeah, King Jack, let me ask you something. Let's say, um, you know, you were in a relationship and one of your partners was going through something where they realized that they cannot perform anymore. Okay. Um, Are you going to have, seek an extramarital affair, you know, to take care of your needs or how would you approach that situation? And then if the roles were reversed, if you could not perform, what would you expect from your partner? Um, I do feel like this. There is technological. I didn't say that word right or what it's not <laughs> grammatically correct. We know you're talking about. Uh huh. Um, but there is a lot of technology out here that can help anybody with anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if you're not right or doing right in your your uh, your areas. Mm-hmm. They can help you. I heard they can put hydraulics in your penis. Actually, listen. Uh, let me tell you something. A hydraulic listen, let me tell you something. They got they got all type of surgical procedures. If they can give you D cups and make them look natural, I ain't talking <laughs> about the stuff that these folks doing out here where you look strange. I'm talking about where they can give they can give men BBLs that look natural. Drake, right. um, they can give you. They 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 out here giving porn stars dinglings that 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 stretch down to their knees, Marshall uh Christ. They do stretch down to just uh, just a lot a lot of stuff going on, you know. So I mean, I think people are scared, you know, to just try it, you know, some of these uh procedures out or to whatever they can do. But, but don't everything got free shipping now anyway? Why do people? You know, like, can't they just do stuff like that too? You ain't even got to be invasive. Every you can get Amazon Prime if you need it. That's hilarious. But you know, and, and here's the other thing with with the with the other option of since I can't do it, just go find you somebody else. Here's the thing about that. So messy. It gets messy, and then now this person's heart, this person's heart, has the ability to be tied to somebody else. And the right. person that you loved, the love that they have or once had for you will start fading away. Of course. And the only reason why that they will be there for you is for the financial gain. Mm-hmm. And you're going to feel the effects of it. And it's not going to feel good. That's why it's important to have natural, genuinely, genuine love before you marry. Because like with stuff like that, if you love a person, you don't want to do that. Not to say that oh. physical needs can't you know but something about when you really really are in love with every dynamics of that person yes. you you know you see them as extension of yourself if you're not gonna hurt yourself you're not gonna hurt them so th- like this was a superficial situation to begin Absolutely. with and that's what you get when you deal she, she literally said um in the trailer which obviously played in real time in a relationship she so came from the point. Got to film in the finale you know, everything caught up. But, you know, she was asked, did you marry Gordon for his money? And Mia just straight up looked, oh, girl, her face said, I might have. That meant yes. Well, at least she's honest. You know what I'm saying? At least she's honest. At least she's hey. not lying, you know. And hey, I mean, it's, it's, it's a few things it I like they play for. I can't lie to you. I I, I, I rock with Mia in a couple. I, I don't agree with everything she do, yeah. but, uh, you know, 
Like I said, what do they swing and stuff? Do they swing and stuff like that? Because I know, oh, like yeah. people are some people. You know, you do what you want to do in your marriage or whatever. But what I have noticed is that when people introduce partners, it never works. It never works forever. There's always some. It, I just think that I don't know. Everybody that I have seen on these streets that have introduced the swinging aspect or whatever for a little it spice, it, yeah, it blows up. It just it's. I, I just don't think it's meant. I don't. It's giving Mercedes from the paint. Okay. Right, and then pH balances and stuff be, you know, yeah. Baby. yeah. Well, Nyla, you know, I appreciate you so much because you always just give me the, the best natural segues. And so, uh, in lieu of pH balances of being thrown off, we're going to go into one more commercial break and then we are going to get back in King Throw Off Your pH Balance, Mr. Diddy Combs himself. And we are also going to close out with an exclusive on Marlon Wayans and his child. That's what been waiting on. After mm. the break. Batista unveiled a load of videos. Who the fuck did I marry? 400 million views talking about y'all ex-husband. Marisa Tisa, ex-wife, who straight line to y'all. It's completely false. Now, Latoya, a lot of people have been reaching out and mm -hmm. they've been wanting to hear your side. When you're dealing with this sort of trickery, and that's what I call it, it's like you being bamboozled, right? When a person comes into your life and they're constantly bamboozling you, especially like when you've been through trauma and things of that nature, you want to believe so badly that this is the truth. Legion really led y'all down a rabbit hole. He used to talk to this dude on the phone like every day. And his name was Miguel, right? Two gentlemen that looked out for me, my mom and dad passed away and became brothers to me, which is Elgin and Miguel. These are the guys that I would talk to in the morning time. Miguel doesn't even exist. Uh oh no. Miguel's not even a real person. Oh no. He was wearing a fucking bulletproof vest, walking around the neighborhood as security of the apartment complex. Legion. This is in Emmett and Jonesboro, Georgia. Your it's mom funny. talked about him walking around the neighborhood at night. He was using his dad's badge, acting like the police. He's stopping the game beggars and he is patting them all the way down. He was only doing it just to fill just on to them. Just to fill on them, because he didn't work for these people. He had a whole different job. <laughs> Legion. All the cars that he promised me, they're actually on Facebook with my name on them, right? That he never bought. It's just said that she had, right, he, she but, was promised cars as well too. But he literally has, I have screenshots right, of the actual post that this lunatic actually put my name in it, tagged me, said, come outside, I have your I have your anniversary present. So where's the car? That never got bought. I was at the station and he acted like he got the a Christian phone call. The Christian radio station. Yes. Okay. And he was on the phone like, hey bro, what's up? And then the phone rang and it was my mama. She just really just kind of opened the door to something that I wasn't even prepared for. Here I am thinking that we're just dealing with a pathological liar, an alleged mm -hmm. child and I, like, molester. She, like she said, I don't want to start crying because I don't want my makeup to trip, but every fiber in my being, I'm not a violent person, but don't touch my kids. Horror of a person. That's a lot of my childhood gone, you know? Did it cause problems between you and your mom? If you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on stage in your city, well, I'm coming. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as the bio. Hurry up now while tickets last, okay? <laughs> you can catch more in-depth interviews like that uncensored over at TashaKLive.com. You can also head on over to Tasha K on stage and check out our girls' tour dates. The most recent one coming up. I'm so sorry about that. The one coming up is Tasha K hits Baltimore. By the way, we would like to send prayers out to everybody in Baltimore. We oh, yeah. know that that bridge collapsed early this yeah. morning. Several people have gone missing. So Baltimore, we're praying for you. Um, if you need something to lighten your low, lighten the mood out there, know that Tasha K will be in town on April 14th at Baltimore Comedy Factory serving up laughs. You know, and just making it work for you guys. So go ahead and check her out. Again, you can catch her tour dates over on TashaKOnStage.com. Okay, guys. So I've seen the headlines everywhere. And for the most part, the headline reads, Marlon Wayans needs to pay up. 
when it comes to his child support saga with his former girlfriend, Brittany Moreland, right? So living out in LA and also being in TV and film, I will say that first of all, you don't have to live here to know that Marlon Wayans and the Wayans family is one of the most respected entertainment empires period not black yes. white just in hollywood in general yes. and one thing that has kept these people working is the fact that they're unproblematic okay yes. and i would like to say that that legacy should and will still continue because marlon is in fact unproblematic so what we have going on right here where everybody is saying oh you know that you know once you have a certain amount of money and you're sleeping with somebody unprotected oh you know what comes with it you need to go ahead and pay up let me tell you something this young lady marlon's most recent child's mother he has multiple um his first one he posts her a lot he adores her um Marlon has a reputation of taking care of not just his loved ones, but everybody around him, right? And so with everybody slamming him and dragging him, saying that he needs to pay, if you know what I know, I think this man is owed a refund check. Ooh. Marlon has been taking care of Miss Brittany since he knew her, even before they got in a romantic relationship, okay? This is just what he does. If you're a comedian, if you're an actor, if you're a producer, if you're anywhere in his atmosphere and you're in need, that is the first person that is going to show up for you, right? So his baby with Miss Brittany is two years old, right? Do the math. This baby and this relationship was nurtured during COVID, which quiet as it's kept, I might walk out in these LA streets and get stoned for this, but everybody knows, or at least a lot of men around me, y'all know what y'all COVID relationships and the women that y'all were dealing with during COVID look like. And let's be real here. Marlon Wayans is that is just that, a Wayans. And this girl, Brittany, looks wise is a seven on her best day, okay? And that should tell you everything you need to know that she was a COVID decision, okay? And this was a bond up situation where they was on lockdown and they made that baby. As quiet as it's kept, I heard that she can cook really well too. So that's a good I'm way. I'm going to my stuff up now. I'm pack my a stuff. COVID decision, Ashley. Look, do I need to pull the pick back up? No. Now I can see. Like, I, no. What, what, like, what, look at her. That is Marlon Wayans. I mean... Come on, this man can have who he want. Now, the thing about her is she didn't you not say she could cook? She could cook. Oh, she, she can cook her ass off, baby girl. So, all that. I mean, that's important. Oh no, I'm. <laughs> I mean, you you didn't want to be eating bad food during COVID. Ma hey, Marlon, this is all this is all indicative of the fact that Marlon showed up for the right things, for the real things not the fake Hollywood stuff, just for him to get dragged in the fakest of Hollywood ways. Now, Miss Brittany is not a gold digger as, well, she became one, but she didn't start off that way. Miss Brittany was a nurse and she came across him and just like several other girlfriends and fiancés of comedians that I know, a lot of which don't like me and I don't know why because I'm not aspiring to be you. I am the rich comedian, okay? So mm -hmm. my... My partner is blessed to get with me. Like, don't, don't, don't Amen. ever. You know Amen. what I'm saying? Yeah. Lay it you know out. Saying? Come on, Ashley, lay it out. Yes. But um, Miss Brittany was a nurse. Miss Brittany was a nurse. And when she got with Marlon, like a lot of these girls, she quit her job, right? This man has put her in a condo. This I'm talking about before conceiving the child. He purchased condo, not a rental. But she had a good pee. Put her and some good cooking put oh. her in a brand new car oh i'm talking about before the baby anything that she needed marlon has been there for her on top of that not only has he taken care of her he has moved her family members multiple of them into the city of la and has funded their life too just so she wouldn't be alone 
How many? Two that I know of. Okay. And if that's just what I know of, I'm sure there's more. Quiet as a scout. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm pretty sure that in the 10 years that they've been dealing with each other, it got serious during COVID, but they've known each other for 10 years. Mm -hmm. He's probably shelled out well over a million dollars on this young lady. And so the fact that people are sitting here saying, oh, he needs to pay up, they are coming from a very uninformed place. And I really hate to see that somebody stepped up being one of the best people that they can be to an individual that they didn't have to, that don't even look like the baddest thing in the world, is sitting here now as a co-parent and getting dragged because greed took over. Oh, and guess what? Again, she had the money the whole time, so this is not even no money grab. This is about attention. Brittany, the former nurse, is also a failed singer. Mm. She want to be famous by any means necessary. Okay. Oh, okay. So, Ashley, hold on. Wait a minute. You ain't even got to run the roller decks down. Hold on. Wait one second. <laughs> so, out of all of this, what is he want? She want him to pay what? Child support? Additional child support on top of the fact that he's been funding her for years. She hasn't had to work. He put her and her relatives. And man, lady, if you don't go take your passport and get your, your narrow zone somewhere and sit down, that's on all you get. On top of quitting yeah. her career as a nurse, that ain't her, that ain't his problem. Money. That's not his problem, no, ma'am. Yeah, and that's the fact is, even her problems that had nothing to do with him, he made them his problems like a decent person. And look how she acted. Wow, mm -mm. no, it is breaking my heart seeing people drag such a generous. Icon. First of all, but, if go ahead, Nala, go ahead, go ahead. I just want to say this. Uh, uh, he, that was his preference, right? Okay, and the preference with preference. Okay, not to say I don't agree with people being mishandled, but that's a grown ass man. He picked a uh, his a uh, uh, his preference. Uh huh. Who you said is a seven on a good day. Mm. Uh huh. He picked her, right? So he's going to have to deal with what goes along with her. A lot of times they pick these women and the women get a super inflated sense of importance. They overappraise their value because these men worship a certain type sometimes. And then that's what they get. So I do not feel sorry for him at all, right? Especially when, and, and I'm not one, I'm not that one, right? I don't care who people date or whatever, but there is this trend amongst black men especially when they get a bag, they go get, get someone like her, like you said, a seven on a great day. Baby, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. I, I hear what you're saying, but she's not that. She's not Miss Jackson. She just likes skin. Wait, 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 she wait, just wait, likes skin. Right. And that, again, that's enough. That is enough for them, right? That is enough for them because you typically don't see it from someone darker or less exotical with uh, 4C hair or anything. You don't see that. So, like, these men have a type. They do, and they use it as a status symbol, and then their status symbol does what they do. I don't feel sorry. I hope she take him to the bank. I hope she embarrass him. I hope he gets his his just due in his field. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. He, he, he should have chose better. He Ain't that what they tell us? And, 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 and one detail I am leaving out that I feel like is very important, choosing better... He was not in his best mind of discernment when they got close. That girl knew what she was doing. Uh, also, COVID was going on. That affected everybody. But he had just recently, you know, lost his mother. And that's when she really was able to sink her claws into him, catching him when he was vulnerable. And his discernment was completely off. Yes, Jive. I'm in class. Oh, I got my hand up. I want to say something. Uh, first of all, um. I do agree with Nyla. Ashley, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Nyla's part, at this point, you're married. If you're already paying child support and this is the what you have introduced this woman into, and if mm -hmm. she goes back to the judge and says she wants some more, she has every right to because you have introduced her into a lifestyle that she was not accustomed to. You picked this woman. You pick the type of woman that you wanted to lay down with and have a child with. 
whether we like it or not, we all sitting out here having an opinion. Whether anybody in the comment section or on the, in the drop box or whatever, if y'all don't like what we said, it don't even matter. At the end of the day, this is what these individuals choose. That's and right. he did it to himself. So it's like, sir, if this woman says pay me $50,000 a month, you got a pair of 50. I don't care if she if she brought Nana, Buki, Ruki, Tuki, Wookie, and the old women from the side corner house. He 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 listen, he was he had a good heart. Mm -hmm. But now you got a good heart, you're gonna have a slacks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then now on top of that, now <laughs> what, what else you got to say? What else you got to say? You gotta have a good heart and so and <laughs> <laughs> now what Ashley had to say is like, sir, like you don't get she don't she she shouldn't get she shouldn't get nothing. She shouldn't like you 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 she didn't he didn't did he's everything well, honey. Been living well for you, years. She did everything he's did everything, and you're asking for more. But I'm gonna right. tell you something when when it comes down to LA, them people don't care nothing about that. If right. you if you didn't have a prenup. And that prenup wasn't done right or wasn't, you know, did according, whatever, then people can take you to court and rake you over the coals. That's the thing. Why do and you think shouldn't he be shouldn't he be protecting his legacy? Shouldn't he be? Should. He's not, he's not a child, he's not young, you know what I'm saying? He should be protecting his stuff. I'm not with this. Women are held accountable every day on social media. Somebody is trying to hold me accountable for what some for what Sukihana or the rest of these women did with their vaginas. I'm not sitting up here. That, that man and his family has been in business too long to compromise it over someone like her. And yes. so it's like I agree with King as well. She don't deserve it. I don't think that she should feel entitled, but that's the position that he put her in. And I'm tired of seeing the community come around and oh this woman did him wrong no he was supposed to guard his assets for his future most, and for most his people are definitely not saying that most people are like he need to pay up i'm like he he got in this situation because he's been paying up actually right so he's he's made he's made he's he's spoiled her you know he's made he's again she's over appraising her value and she can because he because he did so whatever and I feel like literally even the only way I, I don't know what Marlon was on when he was looking at her like, oh, you the one or, or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. but I don't the, the I chicken, don't maybe the chicken was good. Maybe she she you, she must have fried that catfish. Maybe she you know, what I'm saying it could be that, the, that, that food, the that food, food the really people, girl, don't. The, mm -hmm. the, it's a lot of women out here that think it's cute to not cook. And I'm like, I don't even understand how you think no, yeah. you need to cook. Man, woman, you need to cook. I don't care. I, I'm not with that. That's a basic woman. survival skill. Right. I, I'm not with that. The woman need to get in the kitchen and cook. I don't care if you're a man. I don't care if you're a woman. Get your in in the kitchen. Your mama, your daddy should have took you and your grandma and auntie. Them, they taught me when I was young. My auntie said, boy, when you get older, you're going to need to learn how to flip them, them, flip them pancakes and them biscuits and them bacon and stuff. Learn how to cook you some some spaghetti and and some uh breakfast and stuff. They taught it's me too many TikTok videos and YouTube videos. No matter what you want to cook, you can make it. You know what I'm okay. saying? So, yeah, absolutely. Nala, we didn't have YouTube back. You know, back in the eighties. If you can read, no. you can cook, right, guys? <laughs> right, right. You read, if you can read a recipe, if you can read, you can That's go right. make something. That's so right. Now, so if somebody can't cook, we probably need to look at the underlying. Oh, like, oh, you can't read. Okay. Just lazy work if you can't cook today. Like, you can do it. I, I taught a man how to look on a live stream, how to make gravy from scratch his first time on a live stream. 10 minutes. So come on now. Oh, I love that. <laughs> can you make sure you slide me that recipe um after this is over? Oh, please. Of course. I got you. I've been making a lot of stuff. But I don't think I've done the gravy from scratch. Easiest okay. thing in the world to do, baby. Is yeah, make I, that I know it's like flour and stuff, but I just I want to do it right. Well, so, you, some chicken. you just take that, take a little bit of that grease the, with the with the with the stuff down there. With the flour, the flour, a little water, and just you know. Okay, give give, give some give. onions and some peppers, there baby. Give me right now. Mm -hmm. like, I'm trying to keep my man, honey. I'm oh, baby, I got you. I got yes. You. So I really, I'm just prayers out to the Wayans family, the Empire. I really hope and I think that you guys are going to recover from this. This is something temporary. By the time it warms up, we're going to forget all about this girl. Um, you know, just stay focused. I, th I think I think 
I think we're going to push through. I think this is just, she's getting her 15 minutes and it's going to be over after this, you know? So, um, that's the empire that I think is going to stay intact, but we're going to close out our time today by addressing an empire that is oh. collapsing. Wow. Diddy's home in LA and Miami have been raided by the Department of Homeland Security. And on top of that, Sean Combs Jr., Justin, the boys have been detained in cuffs. And as of last night, they were actually arrested. Some people were saying, no, 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 they were just detained. No. The two sons were arrested along with Diddy's two assistants. Diddy remains free. What are your thoughts, King Jive? I saw this in real time. And everybody kept asking because they want me to say something about it on, on, on the show. And I'm like, I feel like this. I think Diddy is just a small piece to a bigger puzzle. That's that's really going on, because while we're making such a big issue about Diddy, where is Harry Weinstein? Where is all the rest of these white men that's been out here doing the same thing or that that have been accused of that and worse? You get what I'm saying? And they I'm not the things to Diddy that Diddy's doing to younger other people. OK. And so my thing is, is that. All of the allegations, which. They're not even allegations, but everything that Cassie has said that went on in their relationship, it's like it got hushed for a minute and then boom, here we go raiding with the feds. What is really going on? What that's what, what is really going on? Like, I mean, what what's what who, who's all really a part of this big circle? That Oprah, Tyler. Mm. Who all the the people that you know are not the big people, though. It's like the people that that is in our day to day. Every those are not the people. Okay, these are. I'm gonna tell you, I don't think much is going to come for this. What I do believe, and this may be a bit controversial, is that um, this is to cover for what Diddy should really be getting in trouble for. Not that he shouldn't get in trouble for you know trafficking and all this kind of stuff, but I think that this is a smokescreen of. Uh, Keefe D is locked up right now for, you know, allegedly ah. murdering Pac, right? He's locked up because his loose lips, he was going all over the internet saying X, Y, Z. He did not leave out the fact that Diddy ordered the hit. Mm -hmm. Okay? Nobody's but dealing with But then he that. retracted that statement a couple days later, which is all... But then he went back, but he's also went a couple of times and took it back. And, you know, it's like, I just feel like this is a way of him escaping other stuff. Uh-oh, we're frozen. Or am I frozen? We can hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think that this is a way of, you know, him escaping other stuff. I did not hear that the sons were arrested. I heard that they got handcuffed during the raid. And that they were released a few minutes later. Diddy is not on the run. He doesn't have a warrant out for his arrest. He had the, you know, the search warrant or whatever. So until they put a warrant out and they show some concrete, hey, this is what it is. I don't necessarily think that this is as big of a deal as it should be. Right. Right. Uh, it's not as big of a deal. I mean, honestly, the people are saying Diddy left his sons for dead. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Diddy shit. He left the kids for dead. He didn't raise them up and groomed them up to be just like him. Everybody got what's coming to him, you know. And as of today, Prince Harry has been linked to the sex trafficking ring as well. Not Prince yeah. Harry. That makes Prince, sense. Prince, Prince that makes Ginger. Sense. Prince Ginger had keep a black woman. Nigga, Mac Markle. Lord, Prince Harry, you just came over here and got you some black culture, Colonel, and you oh, all she, she should have just stayed overseas for that shit. Like, oh, you know, Harry. I'm telling you, boy, Hollywood comes at you fast. He should have stayed in the confines of the palace where it was safe, baby. 
Harry, you should have stayed over there with your grandma. Lord, Lord bless the dead, Jesus, Lord. You should have stayed over there. <laughs> you didn't come over here and try to get with the black folks and with the wrong black folks, I should say, with that. Yeah, and unfortunately, oh. they do look like, if you don't know any better, they definitely do look like the right ones, you know. He got wrapped up, Prince Harry got wrapped up in both Diddy. Uh, Tyler Perry, as you know, took him and Megan in when they were fleeing the castle. Um, and, you know, those are just two buzz names where we know everything is not what it seems with them two, you know? Oh. Yes. It's, are we still having technical difficulties? We have our girl, um, Young Miami, right here, by the way. Yeah, she um, need to go somewhere and sit up. She has definitely, she has definitely been kind of off the grid. But somebody made a joke, and they're like, "Miami, where you at? It's gonna be a fun summer." And they was like, "Uh, sis, you talking about it's gonna be a fun summer? Uh, you need to look at the news, honey." Like, and but she's such a comedian, honey. They like, "Where you at?" She said, "I'm right here, honey." She gonna post a picture of herself on a private jet. You know, and they, the people want to know: Do you think she gonna be standing outside the courtroom with a sign that says "Go Poppy"? King Jeff, what you think? What you think about that girl, Miami? Um, I think because I, you know, I'm not really sure if they're together or not because I don't even know how their relationship going. Because he in one relationship, not in, not in, not. I Babies think, in between. You know, just looking a fool. I think you know with Diddy and Young Miami, I just think that you know she just got in a relationship with what she needed to get, saw what she saw, and was like. Yeah, just go and pay me an allowance and I'll just, you know, I'll come with you when I need it, you know, when we need to take pictures and stuff and then I'm out. But I'm telling you, some, it's like sometime... I believe she was completely caught up in everything he was doing and when you have yeah. a man that's paying your bills, especially to that extent and providing you with a lifestyle and then there's some good penis attached, you will be 10 toes down for your penis? man. You was it good? You know, and especially when you think you got a diddy, you think you didn't came up. You know, she, I'm unfortunately, I'm sure she was every bit part of all his shenanigans, the white fingernail polish, the freak off, but she didn't know it was going to blow up like this. And I also believe that her association with Diddy led to the demise of the City Girls. But wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold on now. Wait a minute, Ash. Hold on. I don't know if it was good because Diddy, Diddy obviously wasn't doing a good <laughs> job. They one wasn't together long. Two, Diddy had to go get some dick from somewhere else. Woo. You want you want to know one thing about this Diddy character? And by the way, I live in LA. Um, don't want to drop names, but I'm best friends with. Just tell me my ear. Just just tell me my ear. <laughs> so, uh, you, me and these people. You know, again, like I know a lot of people that was running around. They were very excited about their associations with Diddy. Uh, I, I know a lot of other people are associated are excited about their associations with Tiffany Haddish. Uh, both of those crumbled. Now they all run around looking like Boo Boo the Fool, trying to find something to associate themselves with. When when I've been telling them the whole time, you're dope, build your own shit. Don't worry about these creeps, you know. But one thing that occurred to me about Diddy is I don't think it's a gay or straight thing. I swear to God, with this person, I just look at him. It just seemed like he's just power driven. He don't care if you're a man or a woman. If he can make you get on your knees and do what he says, that's what gets him off. I don't think he's gay. I think he's power obsessed. Big difference. You know so, what I'm like, uh, he's a sexual deviant. He's a trisexual. Even if it's not about sex, <laughs> just whatever he can do to let, so he can get reassurance that he has control over you in that moment. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It doesn't matter your race or age. He wants to do it. He is more about the control than the sex of it all, in my opinion. With I can understand that. Him. I can understand that, but still bisexual. But I do think that he's got some power issues. I do. I really do. I think that um he definitely he a Pokemon. Nyla, Nyla, what do you think is to come next in this saga? Um, I think that it's going to be a lot of smoke and mirrors. Um, I would love to see him get his just due, meaning I would love to see him get everything that is coming to him. I feel like he's destroyed so many lives. He's humiliated people and I would love to see him get exactly what he deserves. I just don't think that we ever get a chance to see that. Mm, I just why don't. not? Um because people like him are he's gonna weasel his way out of everything. 
Not just so that. I think that these systems that he's involved in, they have to protect each other, right? They have to protect the system. So if he's no longer useful, then he may end up, you know, getting thrown outside like Weinstein did because, mm -hmm. you know, he's locked up or whatever. But as long as he has some use, I think that's a, there's a good chance that um, nothing will happen to him. Yeah. But even like, you know, with what's going on. Lots of I money, though. Lots of money. But with this type of crowd, discretion is everything. And obviously, his whole existence have blew up the spot of whatever the secret is. So, But I what don't I don't like is it becomes, uh, this is another Black man's legacy being ruined without it being understood that he ruined his own legacy in other people. I don't like that at all. Because it's, it's just too much covering up of what powerful men do when they have money if they're black I, like they they can do it too you know what i'm saying we understand it if it's everybody else but when it's up oh they just want to tarnish this man and you know tarnish his legacy i don't believe that he tarnished his own stuff yeah mm -hmm. jab do you got any closing thoughts on diddy and this never-ending saga um i think just like with the jeffrey epstein situation uh we're, we're hearing about this raid and it's just like with the whole Trump situation. We heard about a raid. We heard about this. We heard about that. We heard about files. I mean, just give it like two more months. We're going to hear about something else. I mean, if you if we're going to put this man behind bars, let's put him behind bars for something that he did. You know, I don't want no allegedly. I don't yeah. want no, I don't want no guessing game. Just like, I don't want like, I don't want uh Jaguar right and everybody like, listen, Sloan Bella, you know, like pre predicting the next downfall. You know, like let's just put late on late cards. Jay Z is too now. She got one coming for Jay Z now. Sloan oh. picked the she didn't pick the date for Jay Z. So I'm look Sloan be right. I'm sorry, y'all say what you want to say. I don't want. Well, yeah, she did. She did predict it. She did predict it. Down yeah. to the month, sweetheart, and yep. the number of people around him that was going to be arrested. Sloan be on point. I just feel like whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You know, people out here, and I mean, you know, in the in the social media world, you know, this is how people eat. But honestly, if we don't know, we don't know. And that's just the truth. We don't know. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm and and I always tell people this: don't make up something because this stuff can really do some damage to you and other people. Because if you don't know what you're talking about, don't put out something that you have no idea what you're talking about. Because you can destroy some lives and they can come back and destroy you. Yeah. Literally and figuratively. So. Well, uh, prayers up to uh, the victims, uh, whoever they may be in this scenario. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, wine is new tea is coming every Tuesday and Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're so glad that this show is consistent because we can keep you guys abreast to all of these never-ending stories with part one, two, three, all the way to 12, sweetheart. So, um, <laughs> you guys, would you like to tell our viewers, we had an incredible show today. We almost went two hours. That means we got into it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Get into it, Jack. Jack, can you tell the people where they can find you? Listen, thanks, Ains and friends. It is your boy, King Jives. I really do appreciate Tasha K for allowing this opportunity for all of us that have taken the this to, uh, taken to this platform and to you know share this has been a great time this uh this afternoon i've enjoyed my time with the girls with ashley and nyla thank you all so much for even being here for even enjoying this time with me my crazy self but you all can find me on youtube facebook instagram uh twitter if it's safe uh listen thank you all again that's where you can find me and i hope to see you guys soon thank you nyla take it away so you can find me on my channel, Grown Woman Vibes, where everyone is welcome, but the culture is Gen X because ain't no wimpy stuff going on. We do a little bit of social commentary, political commentary, a, a vast array of, to of topics. Come through and join our little community where we keep it a buck every day. And as for me, 
I am your host, Ashley Burgess, the actress. I do my own stunts. You can find me on Instagram and at a comedy club near you. Tonight, if you're in the L.A. area, we have Funny Taco Tuesday here at El Mariachi in Encino, California. We can get tickets on KennyWackPresents.Eventbrite.com. As you can see right there, KennyWackPresents.Eventbrite.com. Um, we have some amazing talents coming up, and you never know who you're going to see in there. We've had Bailey Evans, Antoine Fuqua, Martin Lawrence multiple times. We had Earthquake basically every show. Um, not only is it an entertaining show, but it's a great networking event, especially if you're up and coming in the entertainment industry. So, again, tonight, Funny Taco Tuesday. Doors open at 7.30 p.m. Also, don't forget about my girl Tasha K over at TashaKOnStage.com. You can see a list of all of her tour dates. Her next one coming up is April 14th in Baltimore at Baltimore Comedy Factory. And also... We are going to announce that me and her are going to be on the same show very soon. Um, a couple shows from now, I will tell you all about that. Um, you can find us here again Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wine is the new tea. Thank you, guys.